What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Republic of Venice. And in this episode uh, our army has landed on the shores of Egypt and the enemy have marched against us to try and destroy us on the beach. So let's get ready to meet them. Uh, so we are going to be attacked by uh, a main army to our front and then a smaller army to our flank. And looking at the map, in theory they should come in from the right of our line. Um, but this is Empire Total War. <laughs> Relative positioning on the campaign map does not mean anything and they can come in from anywhere. <laughs> Even right behind us. So yeah, we're not going to deploy our entire army up front. Um, it's pretty good actually. Especially because no one can... This terrain isn't directly trans traversable because of that line of line of uh, stone. So that's quite a good position for our artillery. Okay, let's do a bit of a generic four... Four line... You don't even really need four on this flank. It's just to stop the guns from getting surrounded, really. And that leaves quite a large contingent that's ready to redeploy as necessary. Guns are up on the hill. Howitzers. Just get them deployed. Put a unit of cav on either flank. Yeah. <laughs> Classic AI, although they are coming in, like right. Okay, it's, it's cavalry steaming in, so. Let's get people set up rapidly. Hey, we can actually cover right to the edge of the map here. So, directly ahead of us. There's most of the enemy forces, and I probably want the cannons to work on these camel nomads, I would assume. Um, I may put the conscripts up here on the, the left, spread my regiment of horse out. Good, you're engaging enemy cavalry that's already charging, although I might get you to actually focus on the camel nomads. We're ready to drop everyone into squares if need be. I mean, they're coming in and they managed to draw our initial volley, but they are wavering. And they may end up actually breaking Coming in. Form squares. My dehumidifiers pull up. Camel nomads right off to the rear, wavering. Okay, you might start carcass shotting the Janissary Grenadiers. These gunners quick climb the Mamelukes. Okay, they've broken. And it's shot that Mameluk unit because they are in. Howitzers. Actually, you better. Okay, there we go. It's a couple of routing cavalry units. We don't want to deploy everyone into square yet. Get my guns to focus on the horsemen. Looks like the cavalry charge is going to come off. Here comes some rain.
commit you guys into the fight, just so I can pull my gun crews back. Bring in my Mamelukes. Push up my conscripts. Okay, they're withdrawing. Form my infantry line back up. There we go. Let's get this line of infantry unit back into line to engage the horsemen. The yeah, marines are getting picked off. Go on you men, make ready and put a good volley into that block of cavalry. Especially because these ones that are charging. Here comes the howitzer to fire to save the day. So you form square. Charge my regiment of force in to attack the Mamelukes. My artillery switched to canister shot and begin engaging the enemy infantry. Let's assume that that's, that's going to be their cavalry dealt with. Push their our infantry up. This flank looks pretty good. I think that's the last of their cavalry actually withdrawing. Kill the Mamelukes. You guys get out of square. Keep killing the Mamelukes. Yeah, you should win that engagement. Here comes the charge. really put some fire onto these guys try and make them run okay I might make get the cavalry to come over here because this front's going to be not static exactly but just not super dynamic canister shot hit them They're engaging their hillmen and their azar, but they're, they're primed for a cavalry charge. Janissaries are routing. Okay, you might okay, let's do a bit of line breaky shenanigans. Good, you've shattered the, the uh, enemy cavalry. Smash in against the hillmen. They did hit our line, but they've been repulsed. Gunners twist around shot, focus on the camel nomads. Push on into the Azar. Push my infantry forward. Get my general to commit into the fight here. Okay, let's advance on the enemy because it looks like they're starting to pick on one side of our line. So let's fold this line back and then move up the left flank. You men form square. Switch to round shot. Begin targeting my howitzers against these remaining troops. My, how, my, tip, my uh, cavalry cannot unlimber. Oh, General, you're a bit exposed. Okay, let's keep pushing up our line. Conscripts have been mowed down by a charging General unit. Yeah, just get some kills. So that's the enemy right flank dealt with. Let's crank our line forward. Then pull the left back. Reform our line somewhat. 
let's withdraw my cavalry. Let's not make them withdraw, I'll make them just push around. Who's that? Sekban Janissaries that have come back. Turn around and hit the Janissary Grenadiers, because now they're wavering. They would be a good kill. We were wavering, oh, routing there for a second. We might not be able to kill them because they got Sekban Janissaries moving up. Shift our line. Okay, let's fill this gap, fill this gap. Oh, here comes a lot of enemy infantry that's coming back. Artillery pound them. General kill the last of these is there, so you can provide some support. Yeah, the Bashi Bazooks are ready to charge in. Artillery begin engaging, although it looks like, for the most part, we have destroyed the reinforcing army, so let's swing everyone up. They found a bit of a gap. Excellent. Okay, let's get my cavalry to chase down that Janissary Grenadier unit, get my general to go after the Bashi Bazooks. Artillery bombard Janissary Musketeers. Yeah, routing. Excellent, stay busy. Especially if I can... I mean, I'm going to speed up time now because it's only that one unit left to resist us. Okay, so you're the one I really want to try kill. If I can kill you, that'd be super duper. You're still killing the Bushy Bazooks. Yeah, I think a bunch of these are going to escape, but that's okay. In which case then you're probably better off helping the general maybe kill these Bushy Bazooks. Hey, you got him! decisive victory always words you want to see so there we go our bridge our beachhead is still secure and we have dealt a, a good blow to the enemy forces there ready to push on towards towards cairo yeah it looks like they might be uh starting to try and work out that you know maybe they've got other things they need to look at and work on but for now we are good we can we can push on and attack Cairo because the enemy will likely be made up for the most part of that damaged garrison the Italians want to free up their ports and they're invading somewhere I'm not sure where Württemberg, Colland. No, you guys have got stuff to sort out while we try and <laughs> figure out how to uh, survive.
Okay. 5,200. So we've got Coke Blast Furnace. Very good. Go straight on to Flying Shuttle. Let's try and make some money here. You guys just need to keep planishing. Try and protect Austria. Uh, you are for the most part replenishing the key units, but we'll pick a couple more up. Down here in Cairo. Yeah, we're 100% going to march on Cairo. I just want to make sure my... I'm doing everything I need to do. Naples has built a port, so let's protect it with a light galley. Um... 4,300. We're probably going to need most of that to protect or to help rebuild Cairo. Let's upgrade or replenish that unit of Grenadiers. In general, this is quite a decent garrison. Yeah, let's, let's assault the garrison here at Cairo. Because then we'll take Cairo and then push east towards Jerusalem and Damascus and just have a good old time. At that, by that point, I'd like to think we could push out of uh, Istanbul and head towards Ankara. Because if we can damage the Ottomans enough, we may be able to secure a peace without, without allowing them the opportunity to uh, strike against us. Or at least, you know, very much limit their ability to strike against us. So my guns are going to be on the hill. They are probably going to focus on the they have a mortar battery and again because our advantage is in our numbers and firepower we are probably going to want to deploy wide on the left flank spread out. Enemy cavalry is pushing in, but we can emergency deploy into square to deal with them if we have to. Yeah, they're going to fall back from my regiment of horse. Pushing infantry and to support them. But the objective is the main line does not stop. It looks like the mortars are focusing on our marines. That's not a terrible trade. Start using our mortars to drop shells onto their line. Push forward a little bit. Rely on our marines to protect our left. goes their infantry. Yeah, they're getting pounded by the mortars, but that is the path of the course. It's just what mortars do. Oh, no need to form a square because they've broken anyway. Surround and engulf. And give them the opportunity for the engagement they want. Get 
Good for that Janissary Musketeer unit. Get our artillery to focus on attacking their center. Hit the Janissary Musketeers. Here comes the enemy camels. You're going for this unit, it would appear. Oh, you changed your mind for a minute there. Their cavalry's charging in. Not that we care. Swarm, swarm, swarm. We've taken a building, accidentally, somehow. Now you put some volleys into that unit there. Marines push forward and attack the Janissaries. The Marines storm forward and attack the garrison of Tsar. Everyone else advance. Attack the Marines. Artillery, for the most part, cease fire. Islamic swordsmen are a bit squiffy. Okay, let's push up and create a line. Okay, you guys effectively create. Okay, right, and you guys run away. The Kurdish Hillmen are still fighting. Lord has engaged the garrison Islamic swordsmen. Playing with our artillery. Just try to shatter them and then try to push on to everybody else. So we're not trying to... There we go. All we want to do is break them. We're not trying to kill them because they will all disappear anyway. Excellent. Pyro has been secured. We can begin to rebuild the city and selectively replenish our troops. So let's get the drill school repaired, the mansion repaired, and the school of poetry repaired. Let's get five units of infantry replenishing. We've got this army down here. They may get up to some shenanigans, but... Overall, that's pretty good. Um, let's get my agent here. Ooh, good fleet. Okay, you can't actually get here yet. So you're going to try and get to this safe area. Hello, there's an enemy sh enemy army. Hmm. Okay, where's my wreck? Get you in. You out. Start to try and. I normally don't really do sabotage, but I think right now with a with a, uh, a faction like uh, a faction like Venice, you kind of you take what you can get. Actually, I might get one of these. These ga um, galleys can occupy Taranto, so we can save a bit of money there. Twelve hundred probably doesn't get us any economy upgrades anywhere. Eh, that's not bad. Increase in town wealth. And it will be, we could potentially build a, a university at Larissa, so... I think that's a good investment. Uh, let's see how the enemy responds to hit us at Cairo. I don't think they've got any buildings we particularly want to demolish yet. We probably want to get rid of the fishery and replace it with a trade port, but for now we don't really care. Yeah, it's artillery going up to here. Okay. Ooh. But overall, that was pretty good. Let's see where that army decides to go um, in Cairo. That's part of the reason why we want to get all these buildings repaired, is that we want to stabilise the public order in Cairo so we can move troops out and engage any remaining raiding forces. 
Prussia still trying to steal tech. Poland can't really push on Austria yet. Ooh. Oh, are they clearing the way? We're going to try run away. Yeah, fair enough. See how many you get. Sixth rate gets three of them and they captured one of mine. That's not a bad trade. I think they're clearing the way for an attack on Istanbul. That's the main reason why you would do it. I think they were planning on attacking. Maybe they're not planning on attacking Istanbul. Well, they, I mean, they are. Well, yeah, are they? Maybe. I don't know. Ooh, Italy's taken uh, Tripoli, which means our western front flank um, from Cairo is actually safe because it's owned by the Italian states, who are our ally. So unless they betray us, which they, they've they kind of betrayed us in the past by not uh, honouring agree agreements, um, but they still... It's not bad. 6,600. It's quite good. Okay, so you've been... Okay, let's assume that this area may be attacked. And let's just make sure that a couple of our units are under... are being replenished. I mean... The city's fairly happy with us being here. Let's just auto that engagement. Yeah, it's pretty... Come on. Die. Actually lost a unit in that engagement. Okay, let's get some more repairs going. That was actually pretty wasteful. I don't think we've got the pleasure gardens. I might build the craft workshop as a cheap upgrade. Let's get the fishery demolished. Let's get the roads upgraded. Still got, got pretty good recruitment down here as it is. Repair the ordnance factory and then spend whatever money we've got left on replenishment. But yeah, actually that was a pretty terrible series of engagements there. Big mistake. This general's doing okay. Um, I want to get this rake down to Jerusalem. And they're going to walk because they can keep an eye on what's going on. I suppose the, the agent could do the same as well. There's no massive urgency to get them to Cairo. We can do a bit of scouting on the enemy terrain. Uh, their economy in Anchor is actually shrinking. There's war weariness, clamour for reform. I mean, it's potential for us to push... I mean, there is a lot of potential for us to push Ankara, but I'd like to try and secure Jerusalem and Damascus first. Because Cairo is adding 720... To our income. 30 turns till we get Aswan, which is. Oh, right at the bottom. Egypt could be quite a valuable. Re quite a valuable um, area to hold soon. We're going to get Flying Shuttle next, which is very good. So next turn, we'll, we'll, we'll get rid of one more. One turn of clamour for reform. No, sorry, resistance to foreign occupation from the nobles at Cairo. Prussia wants peace, which they're not going to get, because if they do that, they'll take Vienna. Oh, <laughs> they are trying it, and again with no artillery. Let's do it. Let's do it. With no artillery, they 100% can't get in. And... Which, pluses and minuses, because if they did have artillery, we can use our artillery to uh, saturate a breach with canister shot. So if they if they get artillery, it's not a huge deal. Um, but if they've not got it, it means we just have to defend the wall. Which is a lot easier, because a large chunk of their army is actually cavalry. So... Like we've done before. See, if we have breaches and this happens, we can build stakes and all sorts of good stuff. 
but because they don't have any any artillery we just blood the walls with troops and to be honest even conscripts are good at that so my general rule of thumb is to you you uh, you want to cover as much of the wall as possible in this instance to stop them from flanking around you not that it's a massive there's no massive requirement to do that but you may as well Cavalry and artillery set up inside. General set up inside. Pike units plus one unit of line infantry in reserve, but because everyone's on the wall, I may as well just sit them up here. There you go, everyone's manning their firing positions. And the longer they wait, lo the longer our artillery from the walls just chips away at them. So here's their main, the first main effort. Janissaries, Armenian archers, Bashi Bazooks, archers. It looks like they're sending one unit of Armenian archers to push forward on the right, which is... Yeah, they waste a lot of time there. Okay, here we go. So my conscripts might actually suffer here um, because these aren't the units you really want to be fighting off Bashi Bazooks, but take what you can get. So they've manned the fire step. Excellent, now they're just starting to engage the enemy. One thing you can do is a bit of a, a bit of a catch-all is to say, right, you guys are gonna cover cover the gates in the event that we lost a lost control of a gate at least we've got something there okay, these bashi bazooks have made it on the walls yeah so my conscripts may actually be in a bit of trouble here Especially because, yeah, what well, that's kind of the thing I don't want to happen. I don't want my conscripts to kind of scamper down the walls themselves. See, these guys that are flanking around, the 4th Regiment should engage them and destroy them. Conscripts are winning this engagement for the time being. There we go, that unit's been broken. Okay, now they're starting to push up, but the archers are wavering. Well, they're, they're broken, so they're actually going to slow down the push. They are making some ground against the conscripts, but on their own, they are not going to be able to do it. Here comes the enemy. So now they're now they're getting involved. So they are likely going to bolster these Bashi Bazooks. So let's bring my general up just to make sure he's keeping everyone in good spirits. See, they want to shoot at these guys, but I want them to man the fire step, but they won't. So because these guys are up on the wall, these guys are pretty useless. Okay, line infantry, engage the archers. Let's move you, pikemen, over here. Go. <laughs> Hung 
got some enemy troops uh, holding back there. But yeah, but the Bashi Bazooks, they're not enough to break the conscripts on their own. Let's bring a unit of conscripts over to help bolster here, because this is where we're going to need that extra support. Make sure we've got guard mode on. Let's move more infantry up to protect the gate. Just to make sure we don't get they don't get a temporary numbers advantage. Grenadiers get engaging. Bashi bazooks are being reinforced by janissaries. Throw some infantry into the mix here. These conscripts will definitely want some help. Kill the archers. Yeah, you know my grenadiers are involved here. We should chew through these guys quite quickly. They will actually um, wear us down a reasonable amount here, actually. We could sally cavalry out to try and um, get the jump on them. It's perfectly valid. Okay, let's push you guys up. There we go. Everybody keep on engaging. These are all Armenian archers. So this will just take time. But they will get thrown off the wall. These Janissaries are down to half strength. They're just feeding guys into the into the into the pit. Even though we have Janus we are using uh, conscripts. It's still enough. There we go. That's one unit of archers destroyed. Push on and attack this unit of archers. Two units have been broken. My grenadiers here that are making their way through. They're against Janissary grenadiers who aren't to be sniffed at. These Janissary musketeers are pushing up to support. Yeah, you say the Bashi Bazoo. Oh, yeah, they're only winning because this line infantry unit hasn't actually been ordered to engage. They're just kind of bumping into each other. Excellent. Janissary Musketeer unit's been whittled down to small numbers. Push across the wall, clear them. Clear them out by killing all of the troops that are still up here and charge into the back of this Janissary Grenadier unit. More archers trying to climb up, but they're not going to get a foothold. There we go, we've now surrounded this Grenadier unit, so they should be a little less happy about what's happening. Excellent. So now you men take up your firing positions again. Excellent. You men are pulling back. Bashi Bazooks are pushing up to try and support their comrades. They should go down pretty rapidly. They go mount the fire step again and engage those chaps. 
new men mount the fire step. I was hoping you would try and engage the, the uh, cavalry, but apparently not. Getting some good kills against the grenadiers here, though. Pikes are formed and ready. Giant Street Grenadiers are broken. Engage the Bashi Bazooks. Oh, they too are broken. Dying in large numbers. Yeah, those chaps are broken as well. Good. No entry into the fort for you, good sir. Except for maybe this archer unit, but got a couple of infantry units over here that are in pretty good shape. There it is, took a bit of a hammering. and do it properly. So you've got a few units that are pretty fresh that haven't been committed at all. Not really sure what you're doing down there, but I think that makes you stuck. There we go. Melt the cannons and get some free kills against the Mamelukes. All of their hopes lie on this unit of archers. Which, to be fair, they're all up here. But I don't think archers are quite good enough. There we go. Gonna get, probably going to get a few kills against the Mamelukes. Oh, there's a Janiss Janissary Musketeer unit's come back. Cleared out. Uh, they're, they're broken. So now it's all going to be this Giant Street Musketeer unit, which will which will run. There we go. So now it's I think it's the uh, the limiting factor is going to be. How quickly can they run away? Because what generally happens is they don't like to... The AI doesn't like to kind of give up until the last infantry unit has fled the battle, which will probably be you guys. A couple of you will be killed as you run through our troops. fire step just to keep <laughs> keep up the fire quite sure where you're going uh, I think the AI is panicking a bit they don't really know what to do but hopefully you keep panicking just long enough to get within within the bore side of this artillery although the last infantry unit is about to rout Not pick, pick, trying to pick off the horsemen here. But yeah, once you go, the battle is over. Decisive victory. I mean, they took a. It was a good effort by the Ottoman advers adversary, but they lost a lot of men. And I mean, granted, some of our conscripts are. I mean, we're getting some very elite units now in the defense of Istanbul. Oh, uh, here we go. When they start bringing up multiple stacks, that's when we have to start being concerned. I think we're getting to the point where this is where we start to get... We want to really focus on the uh, research of quicklime. That becomes a strategic priority. I think I may... Well, we'll get some visibility... Well, we may get some visibility on what that army looks like. 
but yeah, we need to get some get some replenishment on the go and fast. Flying shuttle researched, which is excellent. Wealth of nations, maybe. It makes people unhappy. Separation of powers. Yeah, that might be better, actually. A bit quicker return. Can't do anything about their raiding. Okay, let's get some replenishment going. Let's probably get some... Just line. You don't really need infantry. You just want uh, some, just more guys. Cairo is currently happy. So let's tactically replenish a couple of units. What could you actually recruit? Camel mercenaries aren't bad. Maybe a unit of colonial light cavalry. Or do we go for another artillery unit? 12 pounder. And let's go for a trade port. And let's recruit another galley out of Heracleon to go occupy, occupy the port. And we'll really start to get some money out of this region. Is it? So what have you got? Okay, you've got organ guns. They'll definitely make a breach. Which again, breaches aren't terrible because we've got artillery. And I might want to make sure I'm reinforcing that gun. Because if they make a breach, we can fortify it and turn it into a giant killing zone. But that's not bad. And you fellows replenish... Oh, don't have nothing I can replenish for 62, 69 gold. We've upgraded the port, or built of the uh, mine. Workers were on strike in Egypt, but now they've chilled out. We don't have any religious buildings, so by the time our agent gets over here, we'll actually be okay. I might actually keep my rake over here. Maintain visibility of what's coming at us towards Istanbul. I think that's going to be the, the goal. Our ministers are all still okay, although we're going to get a next, an election next turn. Uh, so let's hit end turn. Oh, you got money for navies, Austria, but not for actually building a field army and actually trying to help. Oh, dear, oh dear. Ultimately, once that army is replenished, they may end up. Uh, oh, I hope you don't. You don't start being moved by ship. <laughs> okay. The cavalry from the fort are going to sally out and destroy that. Destroy that unit, which is good because you don't really need lots of cavalry in a city battle. It is useful if they've got particularly dangerous artillery, but you don't necessarily need three units to do that. Infantry is better. Howitzers are even better because you can do a bit of your own counter battery. But yeah, we need to go take deal some damage to them to prevent them from uh, running amok around our unprotected line. And I was very un not interested in taking over the Ottoman territory because I did not want a border with Russia. Because Rus as soon as you get borders with major powers they get super aggro real fast. So, cavalry... Well, what are you first? Simony. Just a mob. Smash them. Lost our provincial cav unit, but that's not... not a big deal. Get these things repaired. Prosperous trade port is pretty enticing. This is a wealthy weaver's cottage. That, that takes all of our money. 
but it does actually allow us to unlock some of these later technologies, although we're not short on things to research yet. Um, Signore, in marcia, avanti! Send a cavalry unit to scout Jerusalem. In attesa di ordi, signore. And we like what we see. Halt! Jerusalem's currently making no money, but we would like to try and change that. Let's get our galley from Heracleon to Garrison Alexandria. Okay, you're earning 800-ish in tax. Oi. Ah, yes, ministers. I oh, know, the election was good. People actually liked that, like the government. Cool. Okay, let's get you guys into the city. Another round of tactical recruitment. Let's get a unit of marines to start expanding that force there. Then upgrade this craft workshop because we've still got access to a minister that gives us bonuses to metalworking building um cost reduction i guess so you go have a look at what's going on down here you're not going by ship don't try and sabotage that Okay, 137, not a lot to be done. Whoops, sorry, I've alt tab. I clicked off uh, green. Uh, right. 137, nothing much to be done here. <gasps> Catholic Mission in Bosnia. Although that Ottoman agent there has died, seemingly, or ran off. So let's begin converting Belgrade, because right now there's a lot of religious unrest in that territory. Let's start to thin that out a bit. Let's see if you can do some good, Austria. We need you to start earning some proper capital. Hey, you've got it bringing back an agent. See, at some point I should probably take Hungary, but I am very captivated by the idea that right, if I garrison Hungary, I lose the ability to protect Vienna. And right now, I am keeping Hungary under threat so they don't feel like they can move troops out. And I'm also able to protect the capital of my greatest European ally, who is of no help whatsoever. bring you mm, right ultimately there is nobody between us and Ankara there is an army to the south and there are armies heading towards our to the now exposed Ottoman southern flank so you want 2,000 to replenish but oh it'll be the cavalry that's why let's get you get the cavalry replenished we will probably take the city of Jerusalem. But I do need to be careful. Uh, so everyone's... I mean, I've got... I mean, I'm, I'm not... I don't want to. But I have to start sinking some money in the garrison of Venice. At some point you're going to come at me. With a bunch of militia, it's true. But at some point, I need to start fortifying my capital. What 
which doesn't leave much room for upgrades later on. Five and a half thousand is not a terrible amount of money. You'll be because you're raiding my trade, though. That's super frustrating. So if I pull you guys back... If I say right, the militia's going to stay here. Well, mostly the militia's going to stay here. If I say you guys are now going to... Retin, Ankara, because now these guys have to choose. Where are they going? Are they going south to protect their cities, or are they going to come north? To which point, actually, I might keep sieging. I want to tr really drive out what these guys are going to do. And, because I can, I might cheekily raid Beirut. Ooh. Cheekily raid Beirut. And then get back to Alexandria. And I'm actually trading out of Alexandria, so maybe... Oh, I was hoping I'd get some more trade relationships. Courland. We don't need peace, Courland. Same with you, Denmark. I mean, Spain. Yeah, you want Spain. You want territory for peace. I'm not going to give it to you. with you and will Britain be the same people don't want to make peace We've got 1200 cash the best thing to spend that on I think will be I'm already building you guys um, upgrade the school of poetry just to grow turn wealth. Well, grow, grow town wealth per turn. Although at some point we do need to build a gunnery school. No way, do we not have a... Yeah, we need to build a great arsenal. Although isn't there, no, the limit of the great arsenal is... I don't know, at some point we have to research, reorganize procurement, get an army board to research quick climb. Yeah, it starts to get crazy real fast. Austria's trying to chase off the uh, Prussian agents, or the Prussian um, scholars that are stealing their technology. <gasps> Don't like that. Yeah, the Ottomans know that something's up now. Georgia is on the move. Colin's going to call in. Don't come after me, Colin. Leave me alone. Pirates pirating. At least they're keeping Britain occupied. Are you going to let me have my turn? Yes. Separation of powers. 6,600. That's a lot. Oh yeah, we do actually have product... Oh, it's because we have a cotton plantation to the south. That's why we were exporting goods. Makes sense. But that's now cut off. So we've got you guys. Okay, we're at a point. Where I have to begin threatening their capital. And forcing them back to Ankara. You're coming in to help, which is fine. You're the army that we defeated in battle in the north. I'm okay with you attacking me because we'll fight again. We'll defeat. We'll be able to damage the garrison without con having to do a complete assault. We're going to augment our garrison again. So lists, 
regions. Most populous region, or my most valuable region is Vienna. Uh, Venice, rather. Then it's Naples. So I think I want to get upgrade to a state. I think I might actually go for a port in Naples. Or do I go flat industry upgrades? Mines are usually quite good upgrades. Extra 200. And region wealth increases unhappiness, but I am hoping over time we'll start to chip away at this religious unrest. 877. Don't want to upgrade any of the church schools because I don't think that'll really help me. Keep that cash deal with whatever comes next. Because we're likely to have a couple of turns where I'm not going to be able to make any economic investment. I can only... I'm going to need it to uh, replenish my forces. So I'm really concerned about them going for my capital now. Ooh. This are okay, this army in Cairo is in trouble. Okay, right. Do okay. Okay. I think I might have an idea. Idea. Frustrating because all the money we've sunk into it. But do we give up on Cairo? Move my army up to Ankara, move the army that's sieging Jerusalem up to Ankara and go for a 1 2 for their capital. I think we do. And what we also want to do, it's frustrating because I've got stuff being built. Because now we're starting to get surrounded now. We can't get back to Jerusalem. Oh, we, oh, we can get back to Cairo fast enough. Where is that arm? Where did the army go? Oh, it went down here, didn't it? Excellent. Um, actually, then, in that case, sadly, I don't have any spare ships. Let's recruit a couple of galleys because I want to take this navy and go raid Antalya, then go raid Latakia. Oh god, why did they let me do it? Raid Limassol. This is quite ideal because they have to send infantry over here, land, and then push me out if they want to push me out of it. You may actually fall back to Cairo and hold it. I can't build walls because they're way too expensive. We're going to have to defend... Defend the city, because it'll take them a while to get over here. But you're going to attack... What are you? You're an... Okay, you're an artillery unit. We're going to fight this battle manually. Because I want to destroy the... Uh, <laughs> I want to destroy their... Um, their... Uh, their forces. Well, I want to destroy this artillery unit without doing loads of damage to my own guys. That's what I wanted to do. Because I can put my artillery up here, my cavalry up. And just say, go get them. They've hit my pikemen with one volley. I mean, there's no point playing this in regular time. There we go. So we've gobbled up that unit there. Push on towards Ankara. Actually, I might... Oh, so many wheels within wheels. If I had more boats, I'd want to block up Izmir as well. But actually, I might block up Antalya... Because if these guys get back aboard their boats, they can't just sail back here and run up behind me. So 
So now suddenly you're in a really good position to take the city. My spies can push east. See who's coming, because you're going to be rushing to protect Ankara. You're in a good defensive position, so we don't have to abandon you. What we can actually do is say, I'm going to spend 4,500 building a house of representatives to boost my tax receipts. I really don't like this at all. But I think this is meant to be... Really, this is the balance of what I need to try and do in this... On, on the Vienna front. Or... Do I spend it on bolstering my garrison and hope that these guys are only really interested in raiding this seminary in the mine? Or do I push out and take a bridge? Tricky, 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 tricky. So you're... Bounty. You are building st I think one thing I kind of should do is split my forces. I don't need this entire army to defend Vienna or to help support Vienna. Well, I don't you. want my I don't want to be completely vulnerable around my capital either. That was me. Uh, built this workshop in Egypt. But yeah, you guys will be delayed getting here. So if you guys want to attack me, you can. You might push my ships out um, and attack to be attacked, but that's okay. War weariness has gone away. Clamor for reform is still high. They've got an artificial boost in popularity because I'm here. Let's hit enter. Austria's killed a uh, Prussian gentleman. Oh, they, they thought about it. They thought about trying to take the city. Austria's rebuilding its garrison. The Ottomans are sending troops north, panicking about what's about to happen. You ran around me. Oh, that's super annoying, because... Oh. You've sieged me, but we're going to sally there. That's okay. Ist oh, I'm going to have to recruit some garrison troops at Istanbul. To try and stabilise that front. Or just to try and prevent them from pushing across and stopping me. Need to raid more of their ports, though. Part of the reason what makes galleys, light galleys, so useful. You've sieged me. We are going to, uh, to push out and attack you, for sure. That's just going to happen. You are very annoying. Although we can, we will, we can't demand the settle, demand the settlement uh, surrender. Recruit some conscripts to help hold Istanbul. And my agent's going to try and assassinate this general. Got him. So we are going to, well, going, to, going to fight a couple of really important battles here at the minute. Get my agent over here to Cairo to start converting the population to Christianity. Let's take our ship out of here. No, you're still raiding. You're damaged still. You're damaged. Actually, I don't think that army on its own shouldn't be able to take the garrison of Istanbul, especially not when I recruited all those extra troops. Right, I think the first battle I'm going to fight is the Sally at Cairo. Because we have no defences, there's no gain in 
holding back. Um, but, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time as we push the Ottomans out of Cairo. Cheers everyone. <laughs>